What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. Currently right now, or actually, Happy Easter. Um, I know I already had an like, Easter video yesterday, but Happy Easter, uh, as it's Easter for me today. But currently right now, editing yesterday's vlog, taking care of some work, and then honestly, pretty much the whole day, I'll be spending the time with family and stuff. So I really won't have much in this today's video. But I do want to cover one thing uh, specifically for this video. So it'll be kind of like just a single topic video or a sit down and talk. Um, and that's your weekly reviews. So today is currently the next day. I recorded those clips yesterday that pretty much would hang out with my family and my girlfriend's family. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about my weekly review. So this is something I do every Sunday. This video you'll be seeing Monday. I did it Monday just because of you know, Easter and everything yesterday. Uh, but weekly review is something very important in my life. And that's just where I audit different areas of my life, or at least the areas that I'm really focused on right now. Uh, so for me, that is my training, that is my diet, that is my business hair solutions, that is YouTube, that is my daily habits I'm already doing, um, girlfriend, family, the main areas of my life right now that I'm focusing a lot of attention on. So um, I pretty much write it all down. This is a little moleskin notebook. You can just get a plain sheet of printer paper. It does not be anything fancy. Uh, get you a little pen. And you simply want to audit the different areas of your life and uh, write down all your current thoughts uh, about those areas of your life, You know what your goals for in those lives. And this is on a week to week basis right here. So uh, write down those goals and stuff. You know What am I doing right now? I'm trying to cut down weight, etc. Uh, and then you got to see if the actions you took this week have aligned with going after those goals. So if this week you noticed you were very a lot on your phone, uh, you didn't really work out hard at all, uh, you didn't work on your business, is those actions aligned with your goal to grow your business, to diet down, train hard, uh, and you know maybe just to have more time in your day to work on those things, but you were stuck on your phone the whole day. So. Uh, that's the type of thing. So just jumping off into like my diet right now, where we're sitting at, we're sitting at 156 pounds. I weighed myself again this morning, 156.4 pounds. Uh, I averaged 156 all uh, week, which is really good because I'm currently eating maintenance calories right now. Um, I didn't really gain weight, I didn't really lose weight, just sat nice maintenance level. And I've noticed a little bit more leaning out a little bit, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually up or throw a pickup right now. Uh, this is my before weight, starting weight, and then this is the weigh-in I had yesterday, Sunday, and this is you know, except 156 pounds, 156 pounds. Uh, <laughs> um, like I said, eating maintenance calories. So so far, diet's going good in terms of in terms of stability. Uh, but how well am I sticking to it? Not so good. Uh, I will be honest with you guys. Uh, I did really good all last week. Then Friday came around, Good Friday. You know, I had a crawfish, <laughs> which is really, really, really high in protein uh, and sodium. So that one really wasn't bad, but it was the Reese's and Blast from Sonic had after that, which was horrible. And I was like, all right, cool, that'll be my cheat meal. No big deal at all. And then Saturday came around, and I don't remember what I did Saturday. I think Saturday I had just like, I had a lot of fats left and a lot of carbs left, so I had like a few scoops of ice cream um, and some barbecue, so definitely wasn't the greatest <laughs> for your diet. <coughs> and then yesterday obviously it was Easter, and I, I held back a little bit. <laughs> I had a lot of carbs and fat stuff again, so I had a bowl of ice cream. Uh, that's really is what's killing me right now is this freaking ice cream. <laughs> but uh, also I had barbecue, and I, 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 the barbecue was really clean though, in terms of, you know, there was a lot of like barbecue chicken, uh, was a little bit of steak meat too and stuff, but um, yeah, it was, it was very healthy in the sense of what, how it was prepared and stuff, so. Uh, but yeah, so the diet so far, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, each day I've kind of had like a bad meal and I'm not, I'm not completely unhappy with it. I'm definitely not happy, but I'm not like, oh my God's in, uh, I suck, you know. Uh, I know I'm still trying to get, I'm, I'm still working on this diet, 12 week diet or 11 weeks out. Uh, it's going to be a lot easier to stand to the diet and the only reason why I say that 
is because there's really no more family. Like this was Easter Sunday, this was Good Friday, this was like the time we do a lot of stuff over here for at least for us. I don't know so about you guys. So there's a lot of food going around. <laughs> so that was the first thing about the diet. Um, <clears throat> what it, precautions I'm gonna take and stuff going on to this week. Really, I'm just gonna be holding more true to myself about those cheat meals and stuff and making sure I'm not doing any more cheat meals. And uh, I'm probably gonna withhold my cheat meal this week just because I just don't want to do another one. I want to kind of just get into the diet. I'm gonna get focused into it. And I normally do a cheat meal every week, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how everything's going. Maybe if I get a really good low weight in at the end of this week, maybe I'll do another one. So, um, training intensity, this is another thing that's really been not like bad, but I feel like my training intensity is not there right now. Uh, I feel like I'd be pushing myself a lot harder, and I'm not. And um, I, I know it's just, it's, it's different with uh, working out in a home gym versus a real gym. I don't know, it's just, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely a little bit more of a struggle. It's definitely, uh, you know, we don't have your typical weights and stuff like that. You're just using some red bands or something like that. So today and this week, I'm trying to focus a little bit more and try to pick up my intensity. I think that probably the biggest thing is just taking rest between sets. I, I don't need to take a, a typical through, you know, two to three minute break in between a set if I'm just doing some 10, you know, 15 pound weights. <laughs> so I could probably take less rest, maybe even bump up some of those sets and do a little more sets. So um, that is definitely something that I need to adjust. Now going into cardio, I've been really good at doing at least 10 minutes of cardio every day on the bike. Uh, but I do need to be more consistent with my 10 minutes a day on boxing because I'm, I'm, I'm doing 20 minutes of cardio a day right now. Just split it between two different activities just to kind of keep it fresh, uh, not boring. So that is one thing right there. Just need to focus more on my consistency with boxing. So I gotta make sure I focus on that. Now, moving from the diet and the training aspect of my life, uh, going into Terry Solutions, uh, I, I've been, you know, last week was very, last week was a very YouTube week. I know I started editing the footage for Inspar, uh, it was like Sunday night, and I literally stayed up all night Sunday night into Monday, uh, to like 2 o'clock Monday afternoon, finishing Inspar, the start of the series, uh, then Wednesday, then Wednesday we had a first day in the past few days, it's just been vlogging since then. Uh, so I feel like kind of like the Inspire had like a heavy workload on me and now it's kind of dropping down to a little bit more maintainable level and that's really good. So now I can kind of focus a little bit more time now on Terry Solutions because last week I did feel like I put it on that back burner that I didn't focus more, more uh, a lot of time on it. And I mean, come on, uh, you know, the past, this weekend and stuff, you know, family and stuff and with the holiday and stuff. So uh, this week really, the only way I would be happy with me not doing much with it last week if I step it up this week. If I don't step it up this week, I'm definitely very disappointed with myself. So um, I definitely need to spend more time on that business this week. I need to allow get more time and more focus on that business. And I feel like that's going to happen with, you know, just the way everything's set up now for this week. So, so pretty much all I need to do is fix my priorities in my life for that. Next thing is going into habits. What are some of my day-to-day -day habits that I'm currently focused on right now. Uh, for me, it's cold showers, uh, just taking a cold shower a day. I normally like to do it in the morning, and that was my plan for today, but I'm actually gonna get a workout in first thing this morning, and you're gonna see that in tomorrow's vlog. So I'm gonna do my cold shower a little later. Also meditation, I want to make sure I'm hitting a meditation every day, a 20 minute meditation. And the cool thing about the one I do is Dr. Joe Dispenza. It's all about focusing on your future and visualizing your future. It's not your typical meditation where it's just like breathe in, breathe out, you know, focus on your legs, etc. Uh, it's all about, you know, visualizing your future with a little bit of a typical standard meditation. So it's really good. Uh, next thing is my greens and my supplements. Um, I haven't had any problems at all with taking those. And like I said, I don't really take any like workout supplements. It's all mental peak performance supplements I take. Uh, next thing is reading. Reading's also been one. So meditations and readings. Uh, this has been probably the worst two right now as I've only been doing them maybe once a week, which I need to pump that up. So uh, I know like last night, it's a 30 minute bath and I was able to read a few chapters from my book. And reading is very important for me because the smarter I can get, the more I can learn about digital marketing and stuff and the more impactful results I can bring to my clients. And then the last habit is deals with this thing right here. This is my phone and I'm simply gonna toss it 
off away because I needed to keep that thing away from me, uh, specifically during my work blocks. I used to do it a lot. I used to not touch my phone at all. If I started a four hour work block, I would not touch it for four hours. And I, I just with being at home more and stuff now, um, you know, kind of fell off track a little bit with some of these habits. And that was one of them. So I'm taking that phone, tossing it away. I have a closet behind the camera. I think I'm just gonna leave my phone in my closet now for my four hour work block. So uh, cool thing is about having an iMac is people can still text me and I don't have many people at all to text me, period. So if there is an emergency, uh, say with my girlfriend or a friend, they can still text me and I'll still get the notification. But just the Snapchat, just ever scrolling through Instagram, looking at TikToks and stuff, that's what catches my attention. And I might do a simple thing like hop my phone to follow up with a client on Instagram. I hit that follow up message and then, oh, Instagram is in front of me. Let me scroll through it for a little while. Boom. There you go. That's a problem. So that's another issue. We're moving. Um, <coughs> lastly is YouTube. Uh, YouTube is the last area of my life. Honestly, I think it's going good. I, I, I'm staying consistent. Uh, I'm not getting maybe the views and the likes that I really would like right now. But that's not even like something I'm worried about at all. Because I don't even want to look at the likes and the views until a thousand videos have been uploaded. So I know if YouTube is all about consistency and it's all about time, it's going to take a while. This is a very long term play for me in terms of you know, what I plan on doing with it. So right now it's just a start. I can't even question, hey, why am I getting a lot of views? Why am I getting a lot of likes? Uh, yeah, that's just not even a question. So I'm loving YouTube right now. I think it's going good. And so far I'm happy with it. Uh, the, something I would like to add to YouTube is just some more camera angles throughout the day because I feel like lately we've been just in this room or in my workout room and that's it. So I want to add a little bit more variety to it somehow. So I definitely need to add some more camera angles, maybe for doing stuff and stuff like that. And then um, also too, I want to try to edit it and upload the video the night before because like today I still need to edit and upload this video. And I have to film this segment right here. So that definitely just took out a lot of my time. I could have been spending on other things. So I definitely want to try to make sure these videos are completely done uh, before I go to bed. So that's something. But uh, yeah, so that is like kind of like my weekly overview. I recommend all you guys to kind of sheet of paper, start writing down some you know, some notes and stuff. A few questions I wrote down for you guys that I kind of asked myself. Uh, obviously, I don't ask every single one of these questions to myself. Sometimes it's just writing down my thoughts and stuff and tinkering around with those thoughts and you know, figure out how I can optimize them and stuff. Uh, but a big thing, like, here's a few questions. I'm going to read them off to you right now. Um, how was my performance this week? Did I get enough work done? What can I do to get more work done? Was there any distractions? Am I working towards my overall goals? Is there anything I need to cut from my life? Any habits I'm not sticking to? How's my diet? Where am I at? Am I making progress? How was the intensity of my training? How could I be more efficient? Is there anything I can implement? Now, those are very specific to me. Let's say you work a part-time job and you are a college student. You know, right now a big crisis for college students is are you getting enough work done at home for your online classes and stuff? Are you studying hard enough? What can you do to study harder? What can you do to optimize your study time? What can you do to learn more? Is there any students you have that you're friends with that you maybe could FaceTime and collaborate on the work? Maybe you have a part-time job and you've temporarily lost it. Maybe you could write down some notes. Okay, what can I do to make, bring in some extra money in? Is there any part-time places hiring right now during this pandemic? What can I do to start generating my own income? Go on YouTube, start searching. Here's a bunch of things I can do to generate my own income. What can I do now during a pandemic? All right, look, these few actually still work during the pandemic. What, which one can I start now? Which, which one has the least, you know, the, the least amount of buying costs, the, the quickest to result, etc. That's all stuff you guys can be doing at home right now. And yeah, so that was my weekly review. I do one of these every week and I know this video was very long and kind of in depth um, But yeah, this is what I do every week and just to show you guys 
currently finishing editing this video and I want to ask you guys if you enjoyed this weekly review. Maybe this is something I can do once a week. Uh, I don't know if every time it will be just a sit down and talk like this, but we're one week officially in. This is week one down. We have 11 weeks to go out of this 12 week, just diet and also overall focus on growing and empowering our lives. So let me know if you guys want to see one like this every week. So that way we can really track my progress further in depth versus just seeing and thinking, what am I doing uh, based off the videos and how the videos are feeling. So, uh, cause you know, sometimes you could be really happy on YouTube but sometimes be in a really dark place. And those weekly reviews is where I would, you know, acknowledge that maybe y'all see me working a lot in my business. Y'all think it's booming in reality. It's not, there might be some major struggles I'm facing. So let me know if you want me to start doing one of these a week. Obviously, this time was a whole sit down and talk just because I was Easter, everything like that. And I just didn't have anything I really wanted to film that day. I wanted to just focus spending time with family. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like, uh, comment below, uh, you know, maybe some stuff about your week. How was your week? Did you crush it this week? Maybe there's something you could do better. Let us know in the back. The uh, uh, Let us know below. And if anything, we can hold you accountable to and drop a subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.